Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to part two of the series where I test Roswell microphones on banjos. This is the Mini K87, and it's the one I've been using all week on this banjo, an open back North Star by Ohm. Now an open back banjo is something that we usually play claw hammer on, uh, finger style on, so we're looking for a little bit more warmth, a little bit more bottom end. And that's exactly what this Mini K87 excels at. It can capture that warmth and uh, fill out the sound spectrum a little bit in such a way that your banjo doesn't end up sounding thin. It's actually very, very true to the source that you're looking for. Um, let's give it a listen and see how it does without any processing. So I was really, really pleased with that. I thought that it captured the uh, sound of the Ohm banjo almost exactly like it would sound uh, in real life. Now, one thing that's worth noting is that I didn't have any acoustic treatment in the room, uh, so it's gonna be very similar to the sound of your setup if you are in the market for an affordable microphone. You probably aren't working in a you know, fully uh, acoustically treated room. And if you are, you're gonna get a much better sound. So this is just the baseline of what to expect. Now let's listen to this banjo played on the uh, Mini K87, but with a little bit of processing in exactly the same way that I would do uh, if I was making a mix. So a little bit of compression, a little bit of reverb, maybe some spatialization just to give it that three-dimensional sound. Again, really, really happy with that. Uh, no peaking, no distortion, no kind of overdrive sound, and lots and lots of headroom for dynamic shifts in playing. So thank you to Roswell for sending me this K87 to play with, and I will be using it for my banjo recordings from now on, as well as on a huge variety of other instruments. So I'm really excited for my next recordings to have this uh, microphone put on it so that everything sounds just as clean as can be.